Hello, I'm Dr. Ted Rothstein, specialist in orthodontics for adults and children, and specialist in orthodontic jaw wiring for weight loss and control. You're going to meet Ray McDowell and Erica Smith, whose BMIs are 45 and 29 respectively. These BMIs would put them in categories called morbidly obese and overweight. If the ultimate effect of my work was to help somebody avoid having to go to gastric bypass right. surgery, then there's a possibility, one in 300 indeed, that that person did not not die. I've been ready, my wife's so nervous. I don't, she can't wrap her mind around this concept at all, and I've been talking about it for years, just never knew where I could get it done. This is a picture you could ask me for upon request. The progress of man Born 2005, died of obesity. He ate himself into the grave. I oh, find that's me. <laughs> orthodontic jaw wiring provided by dental professionals in cooperation with the patient's physician. That's right. very important. Offers hope of increased life expectancy to some compulsive overeaters. In the normal circumstances, you could open that much. That would be your normal opening. And your right and left is hardly limited. Your front and back is hardly limited. But your, your vertical opening limited. is limited. The brackets are placed on three up here, and three up here, and three up here, and three up here on the canines and the premolars. These are the pieces that I demonstrate <coughs> how to actually put the wiring on. It's very simple. It begins up here, green, the upper right backmost tooth, the second premolar and then it starts to wire, and I think of it as a dance. You hold the top strand away, and you go one, two, three, and then six, one, four, five, out to here. You have nothing that interferes with jaw wiring. Your bone looks nice and healthy, and your teeth look um, strong. There's nothing on this x-ray that says, Dr. Ted, you should be careful about doing orthodontic jaw wiring on Ray. No, indeed, he's a good candidate. So. That being said, if you will sit down in the chair, come around, and don't worry, it will support your weight, not a problem. Judging from your panoramic x-ray and from my intraoral examination, I would say you are cleared from a dental point of view. This is a relatively new technique for us. So the, the surfaces of the teeth are prepared with a kind of like a colorless liquid, and then the bracket is placed on and then Brian is going to spray this blue light on it for three seconds, and that's what makes it glue on. Now, it's not completely cured, so Brian will be going back and doing each bracket for about 20 more seconds. Next, please, upper right four. I'm moving them slightly towards the back side of the tooth. And now, upper right three. How you doing? Are you okay? I'm great. Good, good, good. I'm doing good, too. So the last thing that we want to happen is that you should go away and the bracket should come off. But if it does, don't lose it. Any orthodontist will be happy to put a bracket on. As yet, until we have been successful with making the technique of OJW widespread, all they will do is replace the bracket for you. Excellent. Okay. Now, Ray, just to assure you, I'm going to tug on the bracket, right? And if, it, if this came off, it wouldn't be on, right? This is the demonstration that, in fact, these, this glue and this thing is really on. You don't, the only way you can break this off is during the five days that you are unwired, you decide <coughs> that you're going to eat something crispy, crunchy, or crusty. Stay on the liquid diet, the same diet that you've been on, because if you can do that, you can pat yourself on the back, and when you're all finished, you come back and we're going to have a great big steak dinner together yeah. on me. <laughs> okay, we're now ready to do lower right five, four, and three. You will recall that when I put the, the top brackets on, I moved them slightly back from the middle of the tooth. The bottom ones I'm moving slightly forward from the middle of the tooth. Now, what we do is check clearance. The tops of his 
upper teeth do not touch any of the brackets and therefore they, he should experience no breakage from his own teeth biting on each other. We are going to do the left side now. Light please, cure. Ready, next bracket. Ready, cure. And upper left three bracket. Cure all. Okay, we are now going to do the lower left quadrant. I have catalyzed lower left five, lower left four, and lower left three. Would you please give me smart clip lower left five? Okay, Brian. Tack. Next. Brian, tack. Voila, there you have it. Cure all. Okay, we're ready to put on the wire. This is a piece of uh, dead soft 0.014 thousandths of an inch wire. The object is to give you an apartness of your teeth such that it is like the normal apartness of your teeth when you're just not thinking. Your teeth are just naturally relaxed. It would be the position you would be in after you just said mom and brought your lips slightly together. Now those little straws, I had two little straws I made for you. Where are the straws? I'll make two more straws ready. Okay, and open. Now, you didn't swallow those straws, did no, you? No, I didn't. <laughs> In my okay. last meal, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm going to place them about where I think they'll do the most good. That's where your jaws are going to be wired to, that height. So smart clip works like this. Clip it in. It is in the bracket. Then you come up to bracket number two, clip. Then you come down and you do bracket number six. Then you come to your second strand and you go from one down to three up to bracket number five. You are now ready to be tied together. I'm using a back action hemostat and we will now close him up. Tight knot because he's got all this play in between his teeth. Then we cut off the end. We take the little pigtail that we created we tuck it in, the right side is wired. We now go to the left side. I was about to say open please, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> we have bracket two, bracket number three. With the top half, you finish off at bracket number six. You go to bracket number four, then bracket number five, and then join them together as we did on the right side. Done, and finally, Cut off the end, then turn in the little pigtail so it isn't a scratchy little piece. And take out the plastic straws. You are an OJW. <coughs> I'm wired in now. Yes? How's your speech feel? Oh, I think it's all right. Yes? It's a little slurry, but... <sighs> Pretty good. You know, for the first time of using Smart Clip, I think we both deserve a big pat on the back. Okay. So now I'm going to become a really good uh, connoisseur of good soup. Like I know, this. soup <laughs> and smoothies and... Yeah, but you know, the sweets, I never was that big a deal. See, I'm all about sugar. Oh, I'm not. My wife's the same way. She's like, well, you just start drinking chocolate shakes and stuff and you won't lose any weight. I said, no, because I don't do that anyway. You're not really into that. Yeah, I'm not really into that, so... Yeah, no, I'm all about... No, I'm into like, crap. you know, steak. Oh, you like, like food. You know, yeah, food, yeah. food, you know. I could right. care less about a steak and potatoes. I want, like... Candy. So where'd you hear about this? Just online. I honestly online. just was like, is there anybody who will just, I just want my mouth wired. Uh, just, uh, I, I just need a break. I just need. I did the same thing. And then I found and I'm like, oh my God, he's in Brooklyn and I live in Connecticut. So I was like, yeah. so that's how I figured yeah. it. Why are the opposite reaction? You know, I have to go all the way to New York. Yeah, and you're like, Dallas, right. Fort Worth, there's 12 million people and there's not one person. <laughs> there's not who'll one do person will do it. I said, yeah. like, give me a break. What do you think, Docs? You think you guys can do it out there? I think so. <clears throat> Petition your own providers to get their butts going and start wiring people. That's it. Happy.